Welcome back. In this video, we will be changing the wet timing belt on the EcoBoost fitted in many Ford vehicles. This timing belt is fitted internally inside, so there's plenty to take off. Ford recommend replacing this belt every 115,000 miles. In some cases, this may need doing a little earlier due to the deterioration of the belt blocking the oil strainer. This can be seen here. This can cause the oil light to come on while driving. For this reason, I recommend removing the sump first. So start by removing the exhaust heat shield and then removing the four bolts at the top. Then remove the auxiliary belt cowling and the auxiliary belt. Here's the tensioner. The downpipe needs completely removing. There's a clamp here and two on the flange. You can then remove all the sump bolts and remove the sump to see if there is any deterioration on the pickup pipe. If it has deteriorated and the pipe is blocked, just give it a quick clean and make sure there's no, no debris remaining. You will need to remove the drive shaft bracket and then the plug for the crank locking tool. That fits in here. The crank pulley locks through here in this little hole. This is very important when reassembling. Remove the water pump pulley. It's recommended to replace the water pump it needs removing anyway. The two alternator bolts will need removing so that the alternator can be slid away. There is a separate belt for the oil pump that doesn't come with the timing kit. I would recommend changing this at this time. To fit this, I use the laser 6952 timing kit seen here. Now it's time to start stripping the top end down. There's plenty to take off. Start with the coolant header tank. Remove the upper induction pipe. The throttle body can be removed. Remove this hose assembly. It will make things a lot easier. The plastic induction molding needs removing. Removing the headlight makes a lot more room too. You will need to remove the coil packs and the fuel rail. The wiring harness can be unclipped like so using a screwdriver and pulling on the wiring. The fuel pump simply unbolts and there's a quick release pipe. Remove the three bolts then lift out the fuel rail. It may be a little tight, but it will pop out. Now, the rocker cover bolts can be loosened to remove the rocker cover. This one was fun getting out. Once the cam cover's removed, you can mark the belt and the pulleys up, just for reference, like so. Place the flywheel locking tool, then remove the starter motor and lock the flywheel and finally lock the cams using the cam tools. These will be marked inlet and exhaust 
and will only fit one way. The engine is now totally locked, it can't move anywhere. This is a good thing because this pulley is really tight. Once you've finally removed it, on the back you can see the timing pick up. Board recommend changing the crank pulley bolt and also the crankshaft oil seal. These don't come with the timing kit so you may need to order them. Before the cover can be removed, there's a water hose at the back with a clip. This needs unclipping. Safely support the engine and remove the engine mounting. Now we remove the remaining bolts on the front cover. The front cover can now be removed. It might be tight, so the use of a pry bar will help. Now the timing belt's exposed, you can see there's really not much to it at all. Because the engine is locked off, you can simply remove the tensioner and the belt and replace it with the new one. As mentioned earlier, now you should change the oil pump belt too. Refit the new tensioner followed by the new belt. Now pull the pin to release the tension. Give all the mating faces a good clean, ready for reassembly. Refit the front cover and rebuild in reverse order. As always, if you require any further advice or assistance, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. You've been watching How To Fix It. Here's some more great Ford Fiesta videos for you to watch.